Hello everybody, welcome back to the testing grounds. So, last episode we were looking at this problem. So, I'm just going to quickly reiterate the issue. Right, the problem was this is how I used to do always do this where I was trying to connect, um, have like a a grid in between two rotors, right? So this is its default configuration. You can't do that. When you jump back in uh, here, let's go to the rotors and set its displacement all the way back as far as it'll go. And in the past, you used to be able to place block right here and you can't do that anymore. So I asked you guys for your help. And I want to say like a massive, huge thank you to all of you guys that commented and gave me options and solutions of how to do this now, um, that, that, now that this method no longer works. And there actually is quite a few methods. I think I've got um, five, five completely different ways of doing this, of solving this problem now. So let's, let's walk through all the ways you can do this. So this one doesn't work. Let's copy this platform. There we go, okay. And we're going to do something slightly different on this one. So first and foremost, so that, that's the one that doesn't work using normal rotors. I discovered, this one I discovered uh, just with playing around. If we take these rotors off, and let's say let's use advanced rotors instead. All right, so. Okay, so we use advanced rotors instead, and then we'll put two blocks on here. Let's jump into the seat. Let's grab the two advanced rotors and let's turn their displacement all the way back. And this one, look at that. That works. That works no problem. So now we can go and put this on here like that. This is how I used to do it with normal rotors but this way now works with so if I let's just go to the advanced rotors just make a road rotor group rada <laughs> rotors and let's just grab the rotor group and put it down in here so we want to increase the rotor displacement and boom there we go all connected up and this is now one piece. So this, the method that I was trying to do over here with the normal rotors, it works perfectly fine with advanced rotors. So I'm thinking that that might be a bug. So, and, and I, I do believe somebody in the comments as well suggested that I, I report that as a bug as well, because it seems to be a bug. All right, so the next thing, the next one we want to try now, so it works fine with advanced rotors, but what if we want to use normal rotors, right? So let's copy another one of these. Think, there we go. So now we're back to the setup that don't work. The next option we have is basically to, so let's take this off here, let's build this into here. We can't build that there. If we take the head off this rotor and we stick it, this guy there, now we've got our full, full guy here, right? And if you take the rotor head now, you'll see it lets you put the head on there, even though it's, it's all stuck in, right? So now we use the, the new the new trick in our bag of tricks. Let's go into the rotors and let's hit attach. Now this you'll see is actually attached to this one. We've got that little uh, let's stick that. we've got that little gap here now. Remember it was actually attached right to the side of this before. So now it's attached just like this one is here. So if we if we just jump into here and we say like rotor, the left rotor. Let's go increase its velocity. And the right rotor, or actually left rotor. Oh, darn it. Left rotor decrease its velocity and then right rotor. I want to do this independently to show you that they're both attached. Increase velocity and decrease velocity. So if I go, if we look at this. Right, so it's turning if I turn the left rotor, and if I turn the, the other rotor, here, let's bring this up so you can see which buttons I'm pressing, right? So now if I turn this one, it's turning that one, right? So they, they, they work independently of each other, all is still good. 
yay. So we've got, uh, that option works. This one's pretty straightforward to do as long as you've got the rotor heads uh, to place on. So the next option we have then is to to do, oh, sorry, I forgot to mention. So, so, um, so this one, I just sort of figured it out because I was playing. This one here was uh, Elemental Blaze 79 and Lee Woods um, both gave me this option and it works great. It's actually really straightforward and simple. Um, the next one here, we're going to kind of rotate these things into place. And this one was given to me by Mirlap, had one, had a suggestion that I tried out and it worked. And also Daniel uh, Niske, I think is how you pronounce that. And I'm sorry if I got that wrong. But uh, the way, when, when, I, when Mir first suggested it to me, I tried it this way. So if I go bang like this, and put a, a merge block on the end there. And then if we go over here and we say one, ah, one, two, and then we put a merge block on the end here, right? These, these will hopefully, they're, they're not, like they're too close, right? Normally you wouldn't be able to do them side by side. But now if we rotate these into place, so we look at the top here, we got zero on the top here, zero on the top here. They start at 270 and 270, okay. I did that on purpose, I think, to, to make them look good, or sorry, to be in the same directions like that. Uh, so if we say the left rotor and the right rotor, so if we say both rotors have a um, upper limit of, is that upper limit? Yeah. So lower limit, sorry, of 90 and an upper limit of 270. And then we say, we take our group, our rotors, we want to have the reverse option, and we also want to increase the velocity and decrease the velocity. So now if I go, they come together, and there you go. Now, this one definitely causes a bit of damage. <laughs> So you'd have to fix that up, but now you could just place the block in the middle, remove all of that bit, weld it back up, and away you go. So this option works as well. Uh, this is the way, I, I don't know if this is what Mir meant, but that's how I figured it out with his comments. There we go. So another way that was suggested, this was Daniel's suggestion, was to, so let's, let's bring this out, down two. Bring him down like so, and then put the merge block facing up on this one. Then bring this out so that it's an equal flush with this one. Now we can't put a merge block here yet, so what we'll do is we'll come over here. And we'll take a look at this guy, and we'll go, let's set up our bar. So the left one we want it to, let's put the reverse down there and we'll put the increase and decrease velocity. So if I go increase, stop it, that should be enough. So that it's just off, right? And if you come over here now and we put this here and we put a merge block like so. These now sort of align up, but they're off by that little bit that we had before. So now if we head back into our seat, and what we want to do now is we want to basically, so let's, let's jump out and look at this thing a little bit better, so we can kind of see what's happening. And we want to reverse it, increase, sorry, decrease, there we go. So that hooked in, it's all merged up. So now we can head over to this guy here and boom, it's now connected. And it's on a single grid. Now we can get rid of all this junk, right? All right, so we've got 
uh, th those two are the same method, just in a sort of slightly different way of approaching the problem. Now the next option that we have here is to try and connect this guy. Now some of these methods might be better for survival than others. I'm doing all of this in creative, but uh, but some of these might be you know better methods in in uh, survival mode. So if we put two merge blocks on the back of this, the idea here now is we need to build a ship that we can dock with this to merge these two things up, right? So if I just go new large ship, there we go. We have a ship. <laughs> And what a beautiful ship this is. All right, so now we want to fly into place. Okay, they're lit up. Let's line them up as best we can. Get nice and close so that both touch. Uh, what are we doing around here? So we're too high. Boom, boom, boom. And we're connected. There we go. So now we can join those two together. All right, so now we've got an option where you can do it with a ship just like this. The last option that I have is a similar idea to this. So if I, let's just disconnect this ship from here so that I can copy him like so. Uh, let's get rid of these and let's get rid of the heads on the front of those, right? And you can just grind those off in survival as well if you don't have, if you're not in creative. Now, the other option we have here, and this of course only works if you have rotor heads, you can put rotor heads on either side of this and then you can fly this in. Now, this option as well was given to me by, by Daniel. Now, he was warning me that like the way that he suggested it and there's a I'll leave a video or a link to his video as well in the description where he where he showed what he did here. Um, but in a in the before you had uh, the the new rotors that you have to actually attach, um, he would make this piece this uh, this piece that I have with the two rotor heads on that side, and you could just kind of like in creative you could create it and kind of with a bit of moving momentum you could create it and let it sort of fly in between the two rotors, right? and uh, just attach itself automatically when it came within range. But now we can't really do that, I don't think. I don't know how perfect this needs to be, but... Uh. Okay. And get out. Okay. So there. It's in there. It looks pretty close. Let's... Uh, Jump in our seat. And now all we should have to do is go to the rotors and attach them. And you see, whoop, we've got all our stuff showed up. All right, and now it's attached in there nicely. And we should just be able to take that away. And they're all in there. So these are all the methods. Look at all, look at all these methods. Uh, these are all the methods that I've discovered uh, through your guys' comments. Um, so let's give a quick shout out to uh, so it was uh, uh, Daniel N uh, Nis Nis Nishka, I believe, uh, definitely supplied this option here, um, he, as well as this one. Uh, he, he, he provided both of these options um, and this option. So these three options here were all thanks to Daniel. Thank you very much. They're all really cool ideas. Uh, this one here was Mirlap, which is a similar idea as that one, right? Using the merge blocks and rotating them into place. And then uh, this one, this one here was Elemental Blaze and Lee Woods, uh, where we basically just put the three blocks down, hooked up the rotor end, and then attached it. That worked out really quick and easy. And then we had uh, the advanced rotor, which was my contribution to all of this. So <laughs> we can do it my old way, which doesn't work anymore with normal rotors, with the advanced blocks, and it does work. So we've got a ton of ways of hooking these all up now. Um, and you can do whatever you want with that. And of course, you can make this bigger. You can do it in all, all sorts of ways. Once you have this here, you can you know rearrange everything around it. Uh, so hopefully there is some awesome you know, quick and easy uh, survival, or sorry, quick and easy creative ways, and also some ways for you to, to do this in 
uh, survival. So I want to thank you all for watching and I want to thank everyone again, all the commenters for your, for your help and your support on this. If I missed anybody, I'm terribly sorry. I did not mean to. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I hope this helps you out.